Now, as more test kits become available, the state is looking to test more people. The state's top doctor, Lee Norman, says that young people are the most common ones spreading the virus to others. This is because young people often show little to no symptoms. They don't realize they are sick, so they continue to go to work or leave their home. Young people are less likely to follow rules and feel vulnerable. And see, older folks and people with Im other kinds of uh, immune deficiencies and whatnot understand that they are at risk, and young people don't necessarily feel they're at risk. Now, that is why the state is hoping to start testing those who are even just showing those mild symptoms. By testing these people, they are able to quarantine if their results are positive rather than continuing to unknowingly spread the virus. Of course, we know there is a testing issue in Kansas and for people to get those tests, so hopefully we can get more soon. Now, real quickly, let's go over the symptoms of coronavirus. The CDC says you'll likely have a fever, coughing, and shortness of breath. And those symptoms can appear anywhere from 2 to 14 days after being exposed to the virus. In severe cases, people will have difficulty breathing, persistent chest pains, and blue lips or face coloring. And by now, you know what to do if you think you have the virus. You've got to call your doctor first. And if you don't have your primary care doctor or someone who you typically see on a regular basis, you can call the state's health department number. It's on your screen right now. It's 866 534-3463. Health experts say calling ahead can prevent you from spreading the virus.